Joanne. So, we've got a book coming out that you may want, but we'll tell you how to do that later on. Um, right now, we want to make the pizza that was made in their first restaurant in Brooklyn in 1951 or two, right, Bob? Was mm -hmm. that it? Okay. So, it was named Corey's. It was named Corey's. That's right. So, in that restaurant, they were famous for their pizza. So, we're going to kind of get started, right? Okay, right. yeah. What we're going to do now is preheat the oven to 500. And it has to be preheated, preheated for a half hour. Okay, so first thing we're going to do is add three cups of flour. Next, we're going to add our salt, our olive oil, and our honey to a three quarters cup of cool water. And we're going to stir it real well. Okay, we're going to mix this really well. All you need for this is your little Cuisinart. It can still be done in a bowl. And all you need is your little pizza tray, an oven, and what else, Kate? Pizza stones. The okay. Pizza stones. Pizza stones. And that will get you right there. Okay, so we're going to turn pizza yeah. Cuisinart on and slowly pour in the mixture. What's in the mixture? Did you this say it right? Your, I did. You missed it. All right, here we go again. Salt, olive oil, and honey into your three quarters cup of cool water. And make sure you get everything out of here. There's a little bit of salt left in here. And we showed you the recipe before, so this should be okay. You'll we'll see the amounts again. Okay, we can turn this off. And now I'm going to put in my yeast to my uh, quarter of a cup of warm water. Okay. So continue your conversation on, and I'll do that. Okay. So at a, at a Mado's, we know that that was your Long Island restaurant, but when you opened up, and I was like four years old, mm -hmm. but don't figure out my age, anybody, just blank your mind oh, right now. Blank. 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 <laughs> but how did you, you bought a luncheonette, but then you turned it into the first pizzeria. pizzeria in Brooklyn, the first Italian luncheonette slash pizzeria. And you could tell everybody there. So, Bunny, she also with Papa served the very first pizza slice. In um, Harlem, the same year that they served the first pizza slice, there was a little bar and grill and they served a pizza slice um, around that same time. But Dorothy and Frank Amato served the first slice that really took off in all of New York. So can you tell them how you decided to do the first slice? Well, we had the restaurant across the street from our school. And the school children used to come in with their quarters and chip in and buy a pizza. The proofing. Proofing. What does that mean? Tell everybody what that means. Hey. Tell your sister Joy what that means. <laughs> I'm not the, the chef in the family, okay? No, but the yeast has to proof. It has to. I can't say what it has to do, but it has to be ready in 10 minutes. It's going to. Rose? Rose! Rose is the chef. The chef. Just speak Rose from here, Rose. Just speak from here. Okay. What does it do exactly? What does proofing mean when you proof? Get her. Get her. Get her right now. It starts, the warm water starts the action of the yeast. Action of the, and it's live. Now that the bell rang, the yeast has been proofed. So we're going to pour it in as the motor is running, slowly. This is your yeast mixture in your quarter cup of warm water. It works for really metal well. bowl. Big metal bowl. That's yeah. right. If it's a little bit sticky, you might want to add a little more flour to it. So the choices, Gabe put in honey, 
But in Brooklyn, it was originally done with molasses. And you could also, what were you saying, Rose? Malt. 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 Instead of the honey and molasses? Okay. And it's so delicious. So people would come from all over to get pizza at Corey's, whole pizzas or by the slice, because that little ingredient, molasses, was just so unique. Okay, and we're kneading the dough right by now. the slice. Yes, and you can get it by the slice. Five kids come in the, That's the right. time. There you go. Look I'll, at my I'll sister go. Up. Look at me go. <laughs> okay, we're going to put this in a little bowl. Place it in a buttered bowl and cover it and let it sit for a half hour. Half hour? Okay, what are you going to cover it with? Okay. Uh, my favorite. No, I'm going to put it on this. We're going to slide it on my um, oh, oh. pizza. So remember when Gay took that pizza and let me tell you what she did. She had it in that buttered bowl here. Well, for 30 minutes. 30 minutes. And then we took it out. We kneaded it a little bit more. We put it in the fridge on a cookie sheet, a flat cookie sheet, covered with a damp either paper towel or towel. And it stays in the refrigerator until you're ready to use it. And an hour before you're ready to use it, you remove it from the fridge, let it come to room temperature, and this is what we have right here. You could show and me what it looks like. Okay. And, and the mo mother was watching. Oh, you were watching, yeah. Right. She, she made sure it was all right. Close eye on her oh. daughters. Oh. See that? That's what it looked like before well, we started you working. You use this. Yeah. yeah. We will. Oh. I'm gonna use it. Mi padre back in the old days. amore. Okay. Oh, I love it. Oh, oh yeah. You want me to do a little, yeah, a little bit of that on? You okay. have to do corn, corn, meal. corn meal. Just so it won't uh, stick as you're sliding it onto the pizza stone. Can and anyone tell that I'm not the chef? But oh, the cooks are chef. around. I'd like to put a little bit of olive oil around the edges to brown it a little bit. You know what our mom, Bubby, used to do for a little bit of a variety is sesame seed on the crust, even laying it on the bottom. And again, people would come from all over the U.S. and say, I want that sesame seed crust pizza. I have a little bit of sesame seed. Shall I get it? You want it? All right. I'll okay. do it. Okay. 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 That's fine. <laughs> because you're not going to see that anywhere else, really. Of course not. No. Nobody right? does it. And who thought of that? You or Daddy? Me. <gasps> what made you think of such a thing? Because uh, it's a, it's a the rhyme on the cake. Yeah. Wow. It was brilliant. Brilliant. Okay. Try it, guys. But dab yeah, that first. This gives you a really nice. Our audience brown. is a little noisy, but hopefully it won't hurt. Right? You think it'll no, hurt? No, it won't hurt. Okay. Okay, here's the sesame. You want to get the sauce ready? I'll bring that over here. Okay. Bubby, you just keep watching and make sure we do Am I doing it right, thing. Bubby? See, because... Mm. What do you think, yeah. Bubby? Yeah. You want to put the cheese on first or the sauce? You could either... Either way, it works. Uh, but Bubby likes to do the... Put the sauce, sauce on first. Sauce first and then the cheese on top so it doesn't burn. Right? And a little spot missing there. Hey, where? Okay. Towards your... Oh. Right there, Bub? All right, right there? That, there. Up there, there. Okay, we got it? Mm -hmm. A lot of places today put the cheese first, but... I know, and you don't see the cheese. Yeah. <laughs> and come on, if you're Italian, you must see the cheese. That's very inviting. You want to start pinching the uh, cheese? How do you pinch it? Just break off little pieces. Okay. Right, Bub? What do you guys think? Are you going to watch some of this? Yes. Our audience? No. Okay. <laughs> All right. It's looking good, looking good. So now, Gabe Go made ahead. the sauce already. We didn't show you how to make the sauce, but what would you say for any, a suggestion? Any Italian sauce. Any Italian um, sauce. Spaghetti sauce. You can look in any cookbook and get this sauce recipe. And if you buy our cookbook, that's going to be entitled Cooking for the Mob. Oh, that's oh, right. You'll Cooking get a nice pizza yeah. recipe in there. And the reason why it's entitled that is because you're going to find out
how a little farm girl marries a little Italian from Brooklyn and ends up cooking for, I don't know if I can say his name, but anyway, the big mob guys mm -hmm. in New York. Okay. You're going to see how that happened. Now this is basically mm. your plain pizza. You can add anything to it. Meatballs, sausage, veggies. So we can put a little bit now, of cheese on over it. here, nice see the mozzarella? If you want to slice the mozzarella correctly and not have it stick to your knife, freeze it before you start slicing. Not completely frozen, semi-frozen. You take it out, look at how beautifully it slices. A little bit of olive oil on top and it's ready to go in the oven. That is beautiful. Now we're going to slide it into the oven. This is an art in itself. Yeah. And there you go. But if we can do it, you guys can do it. And that's it. When it's brown and the cheese is melted, you take it off and that's it, right? That's right. We'll show it to you later when we're ready to eat. My daughter just took the pizza out of the oven. She Let's just made it. It's all right. Delicious. Here it does. So well, some of us want meatball and sausage on it, so here it goes. And now, when, when Frank and Dorothy made their tomato sauce, or their pizza sauce, what happened was every recipe that you guys made was a controversy. It was a battle. Whose is better than whose? But the story behind their pizza sauce, and again the recipe is going to be in our book, is that that's enough already all right okay it's going in the oven is that dorothy wanted sugar in it and frank would not have it because he felt it was not traditional so bobby what did you do i put sugar anyway <laughs> but did you do it in front of him no <laughs> <laughs> i just know what tastes better and doesn't matter if it's traditional or not at that point it's got to taste good and you got it, you, you should put, you, you did put a little sugar in, in my sauce. And I always do. Yeah. So who wants to cut the first slice and enjoy? Where is our pizza cutter? And here we go. We need some plates. Paper plates. Ready? A little well done, but looking good. You have to have a pizza cutter in your house. I wonder when these were invented, actually. And Rose, you want to kick off our eating frenzy? What do you want to say to us? Is Rose still there? Yeah. Go ahead, Rose. Bon appetit. <laughs> See you guys next time. When the moon hits your eye like a big pizza pie, that's amore. When the world seems to shine like you've had too much wine, that's some order.